crazy McGee. Literally everyone's in like winter coats and pants. Two, three. Hello YouTube world. Good morning. Today you're making all the decisions for us. We're putting out Instagram polls and I'm gonna cut your head off, sorry. I'll give you your full face in there. Okay, so we're putting Instagram polls up and suggestion boxes and multiple choice questions on Instagram today. And you're gonna make all this, oh, I can't speak, all the decisions for us. And we're gonna see where we wind up on this crazy adventure. I saw my retainer in, so you're seeing us very glammed out right now. So let's dive in. All right, what's the first poll of the day, mister? We asked you what we should have for breakfast. We should either have uh, cereal or Mickey waffles and you all chose Mickey waffles coming in at 76%. And in the morning, I'm making waffles. What are you doing? I'm making some waffles. And they're fun fetty waffles, I'm excited. Yes, of course. And they're Mickey shaped, obviously. Our friend Brett got Clay these amazing little measuring things. Uh, Brett is one of our Disney friends. And I'm using it this morning to make some Mickey waffles, which just feels very fitting. I needed to put a hat on because I wore a hat yesterday and I haven't showered yet. So is that one of your poles, Clay? Huh? 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 Yeah. Um, and I haven't showered yet and my hair was like matted down. So I just put a hat back on. But my first poll was what should we watch while we eat breakfast? And it was between Mickey Cartoons and Nadia Bakes, one of our favorite baking shows. And y'all chose Mickey Cartoons. It's Disney filled morning. Just fast, 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 fast. Every Christmas. We quote the Family Stone on this vlog quite a lot, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, three, two, one, Mickey Waffles, let's do it. <laughs> Moment of truth. Yes. Those look so Ooh. Good. You got sizzle. But these look so good. Ooh, all together. Look at that. On a Mickey plate, too. Yes, of course. Mickey. Oh, it's running low. Wait, hold on. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, no. <laughs> That's okay. That one can be mine. We can still get some Mickey sprinkles. Mickey sprinkles. All right, let's get the Mickey cartoons rolling and eat some Mickey waffles. Woohoo! Yummy. All right. It begins. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you for making breakfast. All right, Christopher, what's next? Um, it's workout time. We asked if we should go to the gym and lift weights or if we should go for a walk. I'm glad it's a nice day because 67% of you voted for go for a walk. All right, so we're about to go on our walk and I need to put on whichever outfit you selected for me. Uh, I had a little typo, I put yes or no, but I'm just gonna assume the one that uh, most people voted for is over the right picture. <laughs> so I'm wearing outfit number two. Uh, Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh. I only gave you all the options of uh, shorts and a tank top. So I'm gonna be a little chilly today. Here she is, girls. Here she is, world. The outfit you picked out for me. Here it is. I chose a smarter option and yeah, didn't yeah, ask yeah. everyone if I should wear a tank top and shorts outside. So I'm wearing my 10,000 shirt and some jeans because it's 50 degrees outside. That's not the theme of the video. The theme of the video is let them decide. So what are they deciding for you right now, Clay? What mask I'm wearing. And what's the answer? Should you look at your, your results? I need to look right now. Hold please. The choices were the Disney dog mask or Disney ice cream mask. And 51% of y'all chose the ice cream mask. So that was a close, a close call, but ice cream it is. All right, grab your mask, let's go for a walk. Woohoo! What am I, a dog? Let's go for a walk. Wanna go for a walk? <laughs> Pretty sure that's not the outfit they chose for you. Uh-huh. Don't think that uh, sweater was one of the options, mister. It's chilling. You look so comfy in your jeans and your long sleeve zip up. Because I'm smart. But crazy McGee. Literally everyone's in like winter coats and pants, and this fool is acting like it is July. It is March, my friend. It's 50 degrees. I'm freezing and I'm wearing, I put a sweatshirt on. I'm in jeans. No, ma'am. 
Okay, where are we now? This is where we play Broadway softball. Uh, what team are you on and what uh, title do you carry? It was when I was in Matilda. We were the maggots and we won the championship. Yeah. I mean, I say we, I don't really think I participated in that win very much. That's not true. But we got patches that are like, they have the Yankees symbol on them. I felt very cool. We've also filmed a couple of my dance videos down there. <laughs> Have you really? Yeah. Can't stop the feeling. We, we did it on the baseball field. Nothing like a rock staircase. So I asked if people wanted me to shave or go get my haircut. Let's see what they said. I'm typing my password because what is facial recognition these days? 52% said haircut. So I'm going to get my haircut. Ooh, another close one. Yeah. Bottoms up. There you go, there you go. Boom. No reason to sip it, right? Look who got his hair cut. Me! Okay, so now it's lunchtime, and we said, do we want to do McDonald's or leftovers? Yeah. And it was 50-50, so we figured we would do McDonald's oh. and leftovers. We're going to Mickey D's. Leftover-wise, I have pizza, and I have some chicken. Mac and cheese? And mac and cheese. So I think I'm just gonna do some fries. Dinner time, or lunch, lunch time. So since the poll was split literally down the middle, I got a large fry from McDonald's, and then I had some leftover chicken from Fuku. That's not how I pronounce it. Careful. And I have one slice left from pizza that I had two nights ago. So. Sounds like a really nutritious lunch. Yeah. Hi, your lunch is only McDonald's. He's right, my meal is completely McDonald's thanks to you all. Actually, you just said McDonald's or leftovers and I didn't have any leftovers because I eat everything. I eat all my portions. So I'm having McDonald's for the first time in probably years and I'm really excited about no. it. No, you've had fries. If you've ordered them, I've had like a few no. fries. If I've gone to McDonald's, you've been like, order me in. Okay, the first time in at least like yeah. six months. Oh. I hope it's yummy. Whenever I get McDonald's french fries, I always get sweet and sour sauce because my friend in high school uh, did that and I tried it with her one day and it was so good. So if you eat McDonald's french fries but don't do sweet and sour sauce, you gotta try it, you're missing out. Clay's leftovers have arrived. The fries are magically floating on the table because they're magic. Mm -hmm. Going for a high nutritional value today with chicken fingers, pizza, and fries. You're nailing it. And I'm also nailing it with my fried potatoes, sugar water, and Messy Burger. We asked you all if we should FaceTime someone from our wedding party, someone from college, or someone from our family, and the family got the most votes. So Clay, who are we gonna FaceTime? My cousin Jordan and her daughter, Elliot. It's gonna be fun, Elliot was our flower girl and she's really cute. We're hoping she's awake. <laughs> You're very welcome, beautiful. What did you have for lunch today? Turkey. Yum, yum. Ooh, I love veggie straws. They're really good. I can come to your house tomorrow. I'm in New York City right now. But soon, I'm gonna see you soon though. All right, Clay, we have a full afternoon of adventures ahead, but we just don't know what they are yet. Yeah. Okay, you asked what question? I asked, where should we go next? So now with the responses, I'm gonna like swipe and pick a place mm -hmm. and then swipe, pick another place and we'll put it in a poll. Oh, I thought you were just gonna pick one to go to. I like that. People can still choose. All right, swipe. One. <gasps> Carrie Bradshaw's apartment. Oh You'll be obsessed with that. Your fingers are crossed, I'm sure, for that. I've been there before. Have you really? Yeah. I haven't. I'm just gonna text message. Second location. Okay, another TV spot. Uh, the Friend's apartment. Oh, I don't even fun. know where that is. I have never been there. I've never been to that one. Okay, so you're gonna put it in a poll and right. people will select. It's up to y'all. Okay, do that while I talk about my shirt. Okay. I gave you all the option for what Mickey shirt I should wear next, a white one or a red one. And 59% of you said the white one, so ta-da. After I've showered, after my hair cut, I'm wearing the white Mickey shirt. Great selection, great choice. <laughs> oh boy. So even though we just ate lunch, I still want dessert. So we asked y'all if we should go to Schmackeries or Dough. Mm. Schmackeries is like a really good cookie place. Dough is the cookie dough place, right? Dough is the cookie dough place. And 56% of you all said that we should go to Schmackeries. Oh, to Schmackeries we go. So let's get cookies. All right, we are arriving. Schmackeries is located on the corner of 45th and 9th in Manhattan. 
It is a big supporter of the Broadway community. We love Zachary, who runs Schmeckeries, and we can't wait to get a cookie. Nom, 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 nom. We got our cookies, and we are walking down 45th Street. Oh my gosh, Broadway Dance Center. I can't wait to be back teaching dance classes and taking dance classes there. Mm. Tell us what you got. I'm enjoying it. It has a smacker doodle. It's just like a snicker doodle. So it's yeah. like cinnamon, soft. Mm. Delish. It is. Also, right down the street is the Theater of Moulin Rouge's. That's all I remember from the audition company. The arm throws. Yeah. So I got the hangover cookie, and I've never had it before. And it has lots of different things. It's kind of like everything but the everything but the kitchen sink type cookie. There is even chips on top. So wish me luck. Delicious. Really? Mm -hmm. When he was saying all those ingredients, I was like, M&M's, oatmeal, chocolate chips, and then when he said the salt and vinegar chips on top, that lost me. But that's delicious. Go to Schmackery's, get this oh, cookie. Cheers. So we are walking to the subway, and once we get to the subway, we are going to check the poll and see if you want us to go visit the Friends apartment or the Sex and the City apartment uh, for the exterior shots from the TV shows. Yes, we're walking in the road, but no one's coming. <laughs> and we'll check back when we get to the subway. 61% Friends Apartment. Alright, Friends Apartment it is. Gotta go downtown. We have to wait for a one train. Yeah, we'll wait for the local. Just got off the subway at Christopher Street, aka Me Street, and Clay's gonna figure out where we go next because Clay's our resident uh, uh, travel guy. Milk bar. Yeah. I gotta be honest, I've never really watched Friends, but I had to. You've watched some of it. You watched a couple seasons. And I, couple oh, it's seasons. right there. It's literally right there, right? I think so, yeah. yeah you yeah, tell yeah. us. That's the Friends exterior. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. So it's the corner of Grove Street in Bedford. It's a Friends building. First off, there are a million school children having recess on this corner. And what did we decide, Clay? Well, we were like, okay, well you suggested Carrie Bradshaw's apartment. And we were like, I think that's also in this area. And it's like a 10 minute walk from where we are now. People did suggest it. Yeah. Let's do both. Let's do two. Two yeah. for the price of one. Done and done. The price Let's go. Free. So where do we go, Clay? Onward. All right. Made it. Hello. I live here. Gotta got 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 got. Influencers in the wild. There's a little chain. Totally. There's a little chain across the front so people don't bother the people that live there. But beautiful. Can you imagine living there and just people taking pictures of your doorstep all day? like we are now. <laughs> All right, on to the next thing, which is an act of kindness. Yeah, let's make it happen. Okay, so on Chris's Instagram, he asked you all to give suggestions for an act of kindness. Yep. So he's going to scroll through those and lottery winner, or like, what's it called? Wheel of Fortune or hmm. Price is Right? Ready? Pick one of those at random. Close your eyes. Oh, you're looking away. I see. Venmo a friend for a drink. <gasps> That's cute. I like that. I like that. Let's do it. All right, who are you gonna Venmo, Clay? I'm gonna Venmo my sister. Oh, what are you gonna say in your little Venmo message? Here's the for money for a drink. I don't know, I don't know yet. Put me on the spot. Who are you Venmoing, Cariz? I picked my friend Audra. Uh, I miss <gasps> her, I haven't seen her in over a year due to the pandemic, but um, I just miss her and thought of her, so I wanna send her a little pick me up for her afternoon. Love that. Yeah. You are lying because she was in your Tappy Christmas video, but. For sure, yeah, it's been okay, a while. Okay, that's fair, but we didn't have rehearsals for Tappy Christmas in person, so I did see her, and I was in the same room with her, but we didn't get to hug or anything. That's true. You were so right, though, I did see her, but I haven't got to catch up with her in person in over a year. I feel so that. I wasn't totally lying. <laughs> all right, friend, what's next? Okay, so next is time to relax. We asked you all if we should read or listen to a podcast. Can you read? No, but I can listen to a podcast. <laughs> You're such a jerk. I am a podcast listener usually at the gym, but 62% of you said read. So we're gonna spend a few minutes 
reading a book. You got me this book, Clay. Uh, it's called Badass Habits by Zin Jen Sinchiro, excuse me. And I love You Are a Badass, and I loved her other books. So I actually haven't read all of them. I've only read two of them, but I have not read You Are a Badass with Money. But this is the next one I'm gonna read, and I'm excited. So I'm gonna dive in for a few minutes. Clay, what are you gonna read today? You. Oh, filth. And I'm gonna read this Disneyland book that Andy Chang got for us. It's, the pictures are gorgeous. That's why I picked it, because it's a picture book. Little town. It's a quiet village. Never did. I don't know how we haven't talked about this on the vlog yet, but Burrito Box is our favorite like takeout Mexican place or Mexican delivery place. So if you live in New York, you should order from Burrito Box. It's just freaking great. It's freaking great. Ooh. All right. Dinner's here and it's also time to drink. So I asked on my Instagram polls, uh, should I do whiskey or should I do a margarita? And it was 29 for whiskey, not 29 votes, 29% for whiskey and 71% for margarita. So I'll be having a margarita tonight. And now Me let's see. Too. Oh, is that the answer for you too? My vote was 82% margaritas with 922 votes. Stella only 18% with 203 votes, so. All right, margaritas and dinner. Then we gotta figure out what the next Step is, while bartender Clay makes the drinks, um, he asked on his Instagram what we should watch next. <laughs> what we should watch? What's we should watch next? What we should watch next uh, while we are eating dinner. We're not being like, I don't know, we don't have a lot of silence in the household. Either there's music playing often or there's a TV show on or movie on and we're gonna stick on a TV show. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna swipe through all your answers and put our finger on one and whenever it lands on, we're gonna watch it while we eat dinner. So Mexican food, margaritas, and whatever you pick for us to watch. Look, 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 look. There's no tequila on that, right? <laughs> Agatha. <laughs> All right, so we have our food set up. We have our margaritas. Cheers. Which we haven't had yet. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah, it's good. Oh gosh, we hope so. Well done, bartender Clay. You get a kiss. All right, so now we asked all of you what we should watch during dinner. As I said, we like to watch TV shows. So you have all the answers pulled up? Mm -hmm. Okay, just wanna swipe. Let's see, how, let's see how many swipes gets to the bottom first. One, two, three. There's a lot, a lot of options, okay. You do a swipe, I'll do a swipe, and then. And then maybe we pick like a number and say like boom, 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 or just pick it. Lucky number just four. making it more complicated than it needs to be. Swipe, swipe, lucky number four. Swipe, swipe, swipe. That's the first one. Oh, I went all the way to the top. Okay, let it settle, and we'll do one, two, three, four. WandaVision! WandaVision. You haven't watched the finale yet. I haven't. So we're gonna watch WandaVision. Right. Who's been dump and dump everything? Dump and dump and dump. All right. We're just gonna wink all video. Yeah. And the person that suggested that was Becky underscore Marari. Marari. So thank you, Becky, for suggesting that. All right, the series finale, here we go. All right, Clay B, what'd you think of the end of WandaVision? Good. No spoilers. I, I had to have a lot of things explained to me. Who is that? <laughs> is that person important? Like, okay, what, is, what does that mean? Pause it so I can figure it out. Yeah, and I'd seen it before, as I told you, but also the second time around was a lot more emotional uh, for me. Well, you haven't seen it twice, so of course we're talking about me. Without giving away any spoilers, I didn't realize what was happening in the last scene kind of until it happened. And now knowing what was gonna happen, I was kind of emotional leading up to it. I know, you kept grabbing my leg and like, I know. rubbing my leg. I was like, it's a TV show, they're acting. <laughs> He's covered in red makeup. Yeah. Mmm, getting hungry, Clay. <laughs> what should we have for a late night snack? Um, what were the options, first of all? Well, the options were Krispy Kreme or Break and Bakes that were Lucky Charms, which I put on there because my mom brought them for us when she visited. I mean, how good does that look? So I was like, easy, already have them. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But the vote was 71% to 29% for, for Krispy Kreme. So looks like we're going to Krispy Kreme and we get to have these later. Well, not tonight, because it wasn't on the poll. Maybe tonight. No, don't just... stop me now. Bye. We made it. Yum, yum, yum. We're going in. Clay, lead the way. Okay. We even got hats this time. Yeah. 
They are currently picking out really hot, fresh donuts for us both. Like off the little conveyor belt. They're gonna be yummy. At first I was like, oh, I wish we would have gotten to do the break and bake so we could stay at home and kept relaxing, but I'm excited about this. So thank you. Oh, thank you to say thank you all for voting <laughs> for Krispy Kreme. Hi, Times Square! We miss you! We used to work there. We don't anymore. Not many people work there. Soon. Soon. <laughs> Roman through Times Square with your Krispy Kremes and your Krispy Kreme hat. Walking in the middle of the road. Never felt cooler. Yeah, you never looked cooler. We made it back. Look at our hats and everything. Also, whenever you get a uh, hot dozen, the box says custom dozen. Okay, haven't. I'm struggling. Don't rip it. Don't rip it. Oh, you then. Watch it. Show us how it's done. Don't rip it. Keep it going too. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't ripped it yet. Girl, hmm. you are uh, trying me tonight. Bee Why are they serving to us locked? Bee 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 Don't give me a. Did I rip it? No. Hmm. All right. Thanks to everyone who voted for Krispy Kreme. This one's for you. Cheers. We just cheers a donut. I think we cheers the last time we had Krispy Kreme donut too on the vlog. Those Krispy Kremes were so good. Oh my gosh. So good. Um, it's been quite a fun day, I gotta say. Yeah. It's not done yet, we still have one more uh, question. So we will reveal that in just a second. Mm -hmm. But if you've liked this video, please share with a friend. Take a yeah. screenshot right now. Three, two, one. Do we do both two peace signs? That's fine. <laughs> and please post on social media and tag us and tell people to check out this video. We want to share uh, this fun day with everyone. So if you could do that, that would mean a lot to both of us. Also, please subscribe to yeah. our channel because we have new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. They're not always this adventurous, but sometimes they're games yeah. and they're always a good time. So definitely subscribe. And if you have any ideas for videos that you want to see, comment them below and yeah. give us some suggestions of videos to make. Absolutely. Okay, it's time to reveal the last uh, audience choice of the night. <laughs> I'm not sure what the phrase would be. All right, we asked for our movie tonight. We watched a lot of great TV and stuff today. Yes, but we have. for the movie. Thanks to y'all. Yeah. Um, we asked for a Disney movie for the end of the day. Should we watch Onward, which we love a lot, or Finding Nemo, which we also love a lot? 44% Onward. That means 56% Finding Nemo. So we're going to watch some Nemo. Sweet. Who's your favorite character in Nemo? Dory. Yeah, that's just got to win, right? Nemo's cute too, but I should see maybe Crush, but Dory's just the best. Go with the fly. That's from the Disney World show. Anyway, thanks to everyone who tuned in on Instagram and yeah. made uh, all the decisions for us today. We had a lot of fun. You made it a really special day for us, and thanks for joining us as we recapped our awesome adventure. Go make this world a better place. Thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon. I need Nemo. Yay! Yay, it's happening! Thanks for Deciding what we did all day. Yeah. Nemo, Nemo. Who lives in an anemone under the sea? Nemo square pants. Mm. Doesn't scan. What's a lucky thin Nemo? Better? Nemo clownfish. Nemo the clownfish. Bye. Bye.